high aspirants is hindi our national language absolutely not there is no national language for india instead we are having official languages and scheduled languages to get elaborate information regarding this watch this video till the end first let's take the eighth schedule see the eighth schedule is mentioned in article 344 1 and article 355 of the constitution the article 344 1 provides for the constitution of a commission by the president on expiration of 5 years from the commencement of the constitution and thereafter every 10 years this commission will have a chairman and such other members representing the different language specified in the eighth schedule but here what are the different languages mentioned in the eighth schedule see currently there are 22 languages mentioned in the eighth schedule i have listed the 22 languages here you can go through it see initially there were only 14 languages mentioned in the eighth schedule later some languages were added to the schedule through subsequent constitutional amendments the latest being 92nd amendment act of 2003 which added bodo dogri maithili and santali to the list an additional point that you have to note here is that there is no fixed criteria for any language to be considered for inclusion in the eighth schedule now coming to article 351 article 351 gives the directive for the spread of hindi language in article 351 it is mentioned that steps must be taken to assimilate other languages mentioned in eighth schedule into the hindi language without interfering with the core of the hindi language this is about the eighth schedule now before looking at the official language committee that published the report that is mentioned in the editorial there is an official language commission mentioned in the constitution first let's see about the official language commission see part 17 of the constitution that includes article 343 to article 351 deals with the official language as i already mentioned article 344 deals with the official language commission so now let's see the functions of the commission firstly it is the duty of the commission to make recommendations to the president regarding the progress of use of hindi language for the official purposes of the union secondly the commission also makes recommendations to the president for the restriction of use of english language in the official business of the union thirdly the commission recommends to the president regarding what language shall be used in the supreme court high court and in acts and bills fourthly the commission also makes recommendations about the form of numerals to be used in the official business of the union finally the commission also deals with other matters referred by the president as regards the official language of the union and the language of communication between the union and the states these are the functions or duties of the official language commission one another thing you have to note here is that article 3443 mentions that the commission while making recommendations must give due regard to the interest of people belonging to the non hindi states mainly regarding public services so this is important point so note this down so this is about the official language commission and article 344 now moving on to see official language committee while the formation of an official language commission is mentioned in the constitution the official language committee is mentioned in section 4 of the official language act 1963 but why was the official language act passed article 343 of the constitution mentions that the official language of the union shall be hindi in devanagari script and article 3432 allows for the use of english along with hindi as the official language of the union for 15 years from commencement of constitution here article 343 mentions that after the end of 15 year period the parliament may by law provides for the extension of use of hindi language when the 15 year period mentioned in article 3432 was about to end the non hindi speaking states mainly the southern states were worried so to alleviate the fears of non hindi speaking states the parliament using the provisions of article 343 3 enacted the official language act 1963 here the section 3 of the official language act allowed for the continued use of english for the official purpose of the union the act came into force on 26 january 1965 now coming to section 4 of the official language act see the section 4 says that 10 years after official language act comes into effect a committee on official language shall be formed this committee is formed by the resolution of the parliament the committee on official language or the official language committee is a 30 member body 20 members are from lok sabha and 10 members are from rajya sabha they are elected by the members of each house the main duty of this committee is to review the progress made in the use of hindi for the official purpose of the union here note the difference the official language commission mentioned in the constitution make recommendation for the progress use of hindi as a official language but the official language committee reviews the progress made in the use of hindi for the official purposes of the union so kindly note the difference once the official language committee submits the report to the president the president submits the report in both houses of parliament and then send it to all the states the president after going through the report and taking into consideration 
the views expressed by the states issues direction in accordance with the whole or any part of that report so basically it is mandatory for the president to act upon the report of the official language committee so this is all about official language committee mentioned in section 4 of the official language act 1963 now moving on let's look at the important recommendations mentioned in the 11th volume of the report of official language committee the report says that hindi should replace english as the language of examinations for recruitment to the government this is the first major recommendation then it goes on to say that hindi should be the only medium of instruction in kendri vidyalayas indian institute of technologies indian institutes of management and central universities finally the report says that it should be constitutionally binding on state governments to propagate hindi having seen the major recommendations now let's see the issues with the recommendations firstly if hindi replaced english as the sole language for the recruitment of all india services then candidates from the non hindi states the southern states in particular will face a great disadvantage when compared to those people whose mother tongue is hindi this recommendation will give unfair advantage to the people who have hindi as their mother tongue in all their services and gradually eliminate the intake of people who do not speak hindi so this is the first issue the second issue is regarding the legality of recommendation nowhere in the official language act 1963 it is mentioned that the official language committee has powers to recommend the medium of instruction in universities and professional institutions the only power the committee possesses is to review the progress made in the use of hindi for the official purpose of the union and report to the president so this is the second issue thirdly language is a complex issue in the 1960s there was a huge uproar in the southern states when the center tried to make hindi as the sole official language the official language act 1963 was enacted to give confidence to the people of the south for the continued use of english along with hindi and we already saw about article 3443 right which mentioned that due regard must be given for the interest of people of non hindi speaking states in public service see the recommendations made by the official language committee are against both official language act and article 3443 See, if due respect is not given to the people who speak different languages, then complex problems will emerge. See, one of the main reasons for the breakup of Bangladesh from Pakistan was due to the imposition of Urdu on the Bangladeshis, who mainly preferred Bengali. So, the recommendations made by the committee might open up old wounds for the people of the south. So, basically, giving importance to one language or another language will affect the unity of our country. So, this is the third major issue. Finally, the recommendations ignores the role played by English. See Hindi is an Aryan language and all the southern languages are Dravidian in origin. So English in our country act as a link between north and the south. In the constituent assembly Maulana Azad said the union of north and south has been made possible only through the medium of English. Note the point here. So the role played by English must be appreciated. In addition to this English is also a global language. Through English we Indians are able to connect with the world. One of the major reasons for the boom in the IT services in India is due to our familiarity with English. So these are all some of the issues with the recommendation. See all major changes must come from the grassroots. Our government instead of imposing Hindi must allow people to make their own decision. Even without government intervention, people down south will learn Hindi in the next few decades. This is mainly due to the free movement of labor. When a person from Tamil Nadu moves to Delhi for work, he will eventually pick up Hindi. Likewise, when a person from UP when he moves to Tamil Nadu will help his co-worker pick up Hindi. So if the government just encourages free movement of people the disposition of hindi in india will be a natural process in the meantime the government must take steps to translate the knowledge in modern science medicine and technology into the indian language this will help india in the long term finally instead of imposing one nation one language india can take example from canada which has two official languages which are french and english i hope now you could able to understand the official language system in india This is very important topic as it may be asked in your mains examination. Do watch Hindi news analysis of Shankar IAS Academy regularly to get strong hold over current affairs. Thank you.